Good afternoon people. So one well, we've had here a little while funny enough and um, we picked up from Home Bargains. They do have them in. Um, I think they have them in again. I think they, I think they have them in quite a lot actually and it has been popular. Um, obviously we know the original Budvar and um, I've just never got around to trying it or doing it and it got left on the shelf in the corner as a lot of you will have seen when you've seen around the bar. Yeah. And it's just been stuck there and I thought today, well yeah, why not? Because obviously <laughs> We liberated the... Michelle liberated <laughs> the glass, and I told her not to at the airport. So we thought, yeah, let's, let's dig out that dark lager in there. Well, we had a Budvar glass before, didn't we? It weren't quite the same as that, but I don't know, it just vanished, didn't it? It did. And then, obviously, we were in Prague uh, for a few days, it and didn't. someone... <laughs> and I, I said to her, please don't bother, we're at an I airport here. That didn't liberate it. It's, um, I, I told her, just... <laughs> don't, but she doesn't so it could come to this lovely new home of, of, of our home bar. And if you didn't want to go, she stuffed it in her bag. That's the God's honest truth, eh? Alright. But then what they charged to go in there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. We should have had two. But yeah, I say, I've never tried this. I'm this, sure I'll pop, pop, whoa, whoa, I'm whoop, sure I'll ponder man. I don't know what happened there. I don't Can know. You it? I'm sure I'll ponder man really like this. Ooh, there was a few people who recommended this because this is why we went out of our way to get it and then we forgot all about it, didn't we? I don't know what happened, why it's so lively. I have no idea. How old is that? I don't know. Um, I did have to get it out the corner, but I didn't shake it that much there getting it from Look over there. So, it is. It's dark. It is, it's very <laughs> dark. And uh, that is just like what you were drinking. I'm drinking the other day. Colour wise, isn't it? It'd be interesting to think, think about, about it. that. Yeah, because I it was only Wednesday, to. and we actually met the, the, the bloke that runs it all and that brews everything. Oh, yeah, this this that be, is quite reminiscent actually this of what I was. Really you. And it's from there, no doubt. I would say it's brewed there. I don't know why it was so lively. How old is that? Toasted malts, a um, little bit of cocoa there, that kind of almost chocolate kind of smell, bit of caramel. She's pondering on it. That's smelling good. I am not picking up too much coffee notes in this because I love a dark beer, but I really don't enjoy coffee notes. That's I'm not saying coffee notes are a bad thing. That's just personal preference on, on me. I'll get the cocoa. But there is, there is kind of a, a, a blend of some form of coffee, I would say, but just... There you go. Yeah, but it's not really heavy. <laughs> I tell you what, it was it was lively it when was it was lively out, when it? it first opened. Yeah, don't know what, but what, if you what look at the head that is on there, it's, it's little nice, bubbles yeah. and it's, it, it's they're holding pot. quite it's tight together. White, isn't it? Okay, let's let's go in for a second. The proof is in the pudding when you actually try it, isn't it? You can, we can go on about this looks good, that looks good. He says that's good. It, Michelle's more of a dark beer person than me. I'll say straight away. This is good. I, I like this. The depth in flavour in there. It's medium bodied, reasonably smooth on the tongue. There are toasted malts in there. There is a little bit of cocoa. Uh, there is a little bit of sweetness like caramel. But you are getting slight coffee notes, but they are subtle. They are not overriding like every. Yeah, they That's are not overriding everything else. I, I can cope with that and I can quite appreciate it if it doesn't overpower the other flavours in there. A little bit of hazelnut I'm yeah. picking up on. Maybe a tad towards the end, even a little bit of licorice. Yeah, I'll tell you what. And it's more licorice than aniseed. And <clears throat> a 500ml bottle, I think that was about pound fifty nine. maybe, I'm not sure. This is a great complex drink with lots of different flavours that are balancing each other out and working together. Nothing overpowering, just giving you a really nice, pleasant taste on the tongue. Which is the whole idea of it. Yeah. It's um, it's good to do. I say this one for some reason. I don't know why it just got forgotten about, and people kept saying. You know, <laughs> people kept saying to do it, and they kind of gave up with us, and we'd actually bought it to review and forgotten about it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we've remembered to do this one. On people's recommendation. I say mm. we, the last bar we were in, which was literally two doors away from our hotel, you were literally drinking. Anyone mm. on my Facebook will know um, the same type of beer, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, I um, like that. I like that look. I did say that could be a bit of you. 
Um, if I look, oh, no, it's not far. I don't know what's wrong with the internet today. There, there we go. go. Yeah. So if you look at that, can you see that on there? Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's coming that's out clearly. That's what Michelle was drinking Tuesday night. Obviously, the darker one. It was. Yeah. I was on the more brown one. That's Krona Nora, wasn't it? Which was like five odd percent. That's four point seven, and for four point seven, seven, it's, it's pretty... really holding its own. It it doesn't feel watery or or lacking in anything. The flavours are all there. Yeah, but what? It's quality, isn't it? You're not going to get. It. You know, it was a shame because we missed the cans that I didn't know of Budvar at the airport because I only had a little luggage case, didn't I? And we got mm. some wine, some of the um, Bohemia Sec. Yeah. We've got to do, we've got another Pilsner. Hold on, I'm going to put this Pilsner, just in case anyone recognises it before I do it. But that one's going to be done soon, isn't it? Which will use that glass for. In case anyone knows this one, because I don't know this one. So we've got the two bottles, 1860. Incredible. Oh, be careful. And then, everyone, and then everyone, 1860, which is going to be a review in the next day or so. I do love them big, big fat cans there. Yeah, we've they're got, good, we've got aren't they? We've got one German one there yeah. still. I think they're worth keeping after, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, I, I, I really do like the look German of them. German one as well, must mm. at some point. But yeah, 4.8%. Uh, Obviously, from what I can see at the back, they're actually brewed half the time for the Chinese market. And this happens with a lot of them, doesn't it? Yeah. All the writing's in Chinese, and you kind of think, well, hold on a minute. Is that brewed for them rather than us? And then maybe they, they can't have them all there, so some come back. I don't who, know. Who knows? But what I will say was, um, for those of you that recommended this... It you, was a while ago you, now. You were spot on. Um, I do like that. That's a good beer. I think that's right up there as well, because like you say, when you get it in home bargains, or I, I don't know what the price in other places are, but I think it's quite reasonably priced, isn't it, in home bargains? Yeah, I saw it was about £1.59. I couldn't be 100%. Remember, that's been here for about four months. <laughs> yeah, it's been here a while. sat on the shelf in the corner. <laughs> and I was like, ah, hold on a minute. It's cold out here. It's going to be just the right temperature. I'm going to warm it up and wait. It's like literally pulling it out of a yeah. six-degree fridge. <laughs> yeah. Hence why it's what we've got. Well, at least me, I've got a big fluffy jacket on. It's it's not that warm out here, but it's just the perfect temperature for this. But yeah, I mean, I'm not predominantly a dark beer fan, am I? But I don't mind them. I'm more of a a a, a Weizen beer, a, a Pils, a sour. You've been over, that's, over that's the nice. time of trying different things. You've become more. Yeah, you get used to a lot of it, don't you? Because you think, well, that's. All you know, right. you think to yourself, yeah, well, I'll try them because the few that you have tried, There's you don't mind. Like no. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, and like I say, 500ml bottle, it's, either way it's less than two quid. You're, you're talking of a deal. Yeah, um, oh, I think it's a deal. Uh, that's, get, that's getting a good 8 out of 10 for me. I'll I think go it's good that. value. I think it's, I think it's got a really nice flavour profile to it. Um, yeah, I like it. I'll go on a 7, I think. Um, I'm open to go yeah. either way on that. At least we know someone's going to want to drink it afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be drinking that. There's been a couple of issues earlier, people. <laughs> and actually, even so. I said, no, <clears throat> no, no, I don't want it. <laughs> we did try a Koppenberg and a Fab Four beer that um, no. I will share mm -mm. the reviews, but let's put it this way. No, they're both still sat there <laughs> and they're not getting drunk by Me. neither man nor beast. <laughs> <laughs> Someone will watch this review to the end and cop hold of that one. I'll copy it for that if anyone gets it far, won't I? <laughs> oh, come, on. come on, that was good, wasn't it? Round of applause, people. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, no, it's a fair seven. It's good to do that. If there's only, I, I forgot all about it, to be honest, and it was in the corner. Yeah. And then, of course, going to Czech Republic last week. Yeah, it's brought it to the, the glass, at, forefront of the mind. Yeah. We? So, there, there we go. go. What can I say? Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend. Bonjour.